Hi, and welcome to Saint-Tropez, a name which is synonymous for luxury yachts, celebrity visits, and designer boutiques. A place on the French Riviera where the classy rich and famous love to spend their holiday. It may surprise you that this world-famous place only has around 4,000 inhabitants and once was a humble fishing village. Saint-Tropez first became famous when the painter Paul Signac started painting the town and lured other artists like Matisse and Marquis there. But Saint-Tropez really got world famous when the sensual film Adieu Créa la Femme with Brigitte Bardot was shot here. It focused on the luxury and class of the Riviera and the influence of the film transformed the village into the legendary seaside resort it is today. Let's explore the town. The old part of the village is known as La Panche, and this historic center existed as early as the Roman conquest, though the city walls and fortifications were not erected until the 15th century. The Italian Baroque-style church and bell tower you see here was built in 1784 and marks the center of La Panche. It is the most picturesque and romantic part of Saint-Tropez. Here you'll find many cute boutiques, galleries, cafes, and restaurants. A perfect place to shop or have a relaxing drink in the shade. When Saint-Tropez was made famous by Brigitte Bardot, it became a popular place to shoot movies. Its popularity rose even further when the comical police films with actor Louis de Funès were shot here. It was partly shot in the police station of the Gendarmerie Nationale at the time. The police station is not in use anymore and has become a museum which is dedicated to the history of cinema in Saint-Tropez. Near La Panche, you'll find Place de Lys. The original meaning of Lys is jousting ground, so this square is thought to have been used as a jousting ground in the 9th century. Knights would try to knock each other off their horses with lances as a form of sport and entertainment. In the 1800s, it was converted into a city square and the first 12 trees were planted. The square and its trees were painted by Paul Signac and Matisse, which has made the Place de Lys a popular gathering place for French artists. Without its port, Saint-Tropez would not have become the luxury haven it is today. 